Hello and welcome to Babushka Line. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy AFK dripstone farm. This farm is fully stackable. The dripstone will grow from both the top and the bottom and once it reaches the observer here, the pistons will activate, breaking the dripstone and putting it into the chest here. I can demonstrate this by placing one dripstone here and also from the top. As long as there is a wall here, the dripstone will go into the hopper and go into the chest. You will need one pointed dripstone, one dripstone block, one hopper, one observer, two pistons, five redstone dust, 16 blocks, and 13 glass. And of course, one chest. Let's get started. First, you're gonna place your chest like so. Then you're gonna come behind your chest and shift click and place your hopper. Place a temporary block behind your hopper. Come to the other side. Place a piston like so. Then we can tower up in the corner a little bit since we're going to need it anyways. Place an observer. The observer should be facing this way. Jump on top of your chest. Jump again and place your piston so that both pistons are facing towards you. Now we can go up on this side. Go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can place a block here on top of the piston. One more block on top of that piston. And we can place a dripstone block down here. We're going to come down, place the pointed dripstone underneath. And from here, we can put some blocks here and build up all the way to here. Once we get here, we can place some glass there. We're going to put a temporary block there, one here, one here, and one here. Grab your bucket of water, fill it inside, and break this piece of glass. Once the water is placed, the dripstone will start to form, but that will take a while, so we can fill in the front with some glass now. Now we're going to pop behind, break that temporary block. Now we can build the redstone back end. So, place one block here, one block here, place a glass here, place one more glass up there, put one here, you can break this one here. And place one glass right here. Once that's sorted out, you can grab your redstone, one, two, three, four, five, and you are set. So from here we can test out the farm. Dripstone is going to grow from both sides, so for example, it will grow from the uh, hopper over here, and it will also grow from the top. Eventually, the dripstone will reach the observer's point of view, and it will smash it from both sides. So if it grows from the top, one, two, three, it will smash it from the top, and if it grows from the bottom first, it will smash it from the bottom. The dripstone will then go into the hopper and then into the chest, and there you have it. That's how you make an automatic dripstone farm. If you want to expand this farm, the nice thing is it's quite simple. You can always place chests beside the current chest that's there. You can expand that left or right forever, but we're just going to do one. So I'll take that out. And then you can take this wall out here, and that makes this farm fully tileable. You can expand it as much as you want. I have actually gone ahead and attached this farm to my base over here. And the nice thing about it is I've attached this hopper line over here which feeds all the way into my automatic item sorting system over here. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the, uh, the thing that should pop up, I guess on the left side of the screen, where it will lead you to a link to an automatic item sorting system. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It will help a lot. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.